Good morning guys, actually it's afternoon already and I was cleaning the house so nothing really exciting for you guys and did some Skyping with my mom, tried to reach my dad but I saw a couple of cats on Skype so that was kind of fun. <laughs> Anyhow, I decided to go out and do something and I thought why not doing a little sports challenge. It's not really connected to the Ford Fiesta movement, maybe I can use a couple of clips, I'm not sure yet because we didn't get all clips we wanted at the racetrack because the main component was missing which we couldn't change sadly but it was okay so don't worry. I'm going to a uh, trial now. Trail? Trail, not trial. For some weird reason I have issues with uh, everything law connected like sewing, sewing and uh, trial, trial. I'm charging my mp3 player in the car because it's empty and yeah that's about it. Let's go there. decided yet what to do either I just go for a walk and end up having a coffee and walk back or I go to the place where the coffee is start with a coffee walk go back and they also have a subway in there so eh, I'm not sure if I'm doing that on the other hand I'm like I could just drive around and then say navigation home <laughs> right now I'm doing something completely different I just got out of the car and I'm walking around now why is my heart rate so high Wow, okay. Anyhow, there is my Fitbit. Let's see. What does it say? Depths. There we go. 361. I'm glad I have a pretty good sense of direction, so I'm just walking, walking, walking. I'm basically not going back the same way I came. And I haven't looked at the map yet, and I think I just hit the main route again. So that's good, because I can just make a left turn, go to my car, and find a cafe to have a beverage. Yes! I mean, I brought water, but that's not so exciting. And that is how you imagine America. Pickup truck, bit rusty, red barn thingy, big house. Pretty awesome. Guys, excuse me for my absence half the vlog, but I just woke up halfway through the night uh, already from the today's vlog because one, my rhythm is completely messed up. I have a jet lag. Also, my brain is about to explode and my stomach feels like it's being punched right now. I think I have some sort of travel sickness. I don't know, cold, whatever you like to call it. This is not fun to vlog. So, I'm trying to get some more sleep. The vlogs will be up a little bit later in the next day or two, depending on how everything goes. And you get a little bit more of Sarah now. So, that's sort of a special thing. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry that I'm not vlogging today, but this is not a fun way to force myself to vlog since I'm about to throw up. This reminds me a bit of Landa. I think that's how it's called in the Netherlands where we were last year for five days, I think. It's just a short bit of forest and it's nice because you're not directly next to the street. <sighs> I was just thinking about Hey, actually, I forgot my... Wow! Okay, ADD. I wanted to take my P3 player and listen to music while I'm on my walk. I totally forgot about it. It's still charging in the car. Never mind. Some might say I'm living my dream, but I'm not even sure if this is my dream. Don't get me wrong, I love America. I'm lo I love living here. But I'm not sure if I ever dreamed of living here. Because, for example, in school, a couple of my friends yeah, friends, let's say we were like 13, 14. They went to America for half a year as an exchange student or something, to California, and they came back and it was so awesome. And I'm like, why can't I go? My parents are so mean. But the thing is, I could have told them that I wanted to do something like that. They probably would have said yes. I'm pretty sure they would have said yes, but I never said anything. I was a very quiet person, I guess. Yeah. I keep my stuff to myself, especially with my parents, because they don't talk much either. Yeah, I never told them that I wanted to go, or for example, I would have loved to go to boarding school. It would have been so much fun <laughs> for me, because oh, even me, I, I was mobbed, especially because of my parents. This, this sounds ridiculous, but my dad was kind of um, the speaks spokesperson for the parents and stuff so I already was hated by the people seriously I never really had to do anything for school yeah I did my homework but at some point I stopped making doing my homework and <laughs> got worse grade just just to fit in 
didn't help by the way just keep going get a good grade and just leave it's it's seriously not worth it you you're just getting more trouble afterwards so just get your grades you deserve and leave school and leave them behind anyhow what i wanted to say boarding school would have been so awesome because i was reading a lot of books and stuff about boarding schools with boarding schools and everybody's having fun there and blah blah, blah. so yeah i'm i'm the weirdest person now that i'm in america i'm like thinking back thinking about the people what they are doing i know a couple of other people went to spain for a year or worked in london or so but they are all back in europe and for me i would love to stay in america i had some fun with the heart rate monitor earlier and i discovered if it's warm outside your heart rate actually goes up and then i was thinking if i'm in the antarctic and it's colder your heartbeat is kind of lower so it all kind of makes sense but I didn't know that actually the temperature changed from afternoon to late afternoon, it got hotter. That's weird. The cool thing, the Fiesta was seen for the first time. Someone tweeted me on Facebook that they have actually seen the Fiesta of me passing by and it looks good apparently. So, hey Cameron, <laughs> yes, I matched you. Wow, I'm so happy that the migraine dropped because I wanted to die at some point. And I think that's kind of normal when you have headaches like that. Uh, I grew up with, with like growing pains, like massive pain shocks in my legs. And I have always endured headaches for a long time. So it's not really anything super bad, but yeah, they suck at times. One thing is for sure, I do need some food though. So I'm gonna get some noms in my belly and uh, I'm starting the new day off. Technically it is still the day before but since Netherlands is like a couple of hours earlier than America, it is already the next day. So guys, um, I'm very sorry for today that I was kind of absent, but it wasn't necessary to Otherwise you would have had one big vlog with me just being miserable all day. We don't want that, do we? So that's a good reason for me to just say, have an awesome day, or in this case, my morning, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.